Hi friends, welcome back. I'm Alisa Abdullaeva and I'm here to help you to create harmonious relationship between a man and a woman. And today, ladies, I would like to talk to you because what I see is happening. You are trying so hard to find this perfect man. You have an idea in your mind how your man should look like. And when you see a man, you're like, oh, this one is not tall enough. This one is too short. This one is too overweight, even though he has 10 pounds extra. This one has a round face. This one has not a, such a pretty smile. So you get where I'm going. You gotta get, ladies, that in the current modern society, in order for you to meet a man who is successful, who is high value, who is intelligent, who is funny, who is fit, it's practically like a fine a needle in the hay. It's possible. And you don't even have to look for him, but you got to become such a gentle, such a kind, such a feminine woman that he will find you yourself because right now to find this feminine woman and men like that are looking for feminine women. It's so hard. Rather than trying to meet a perfect man, I would like for you to imagine that you are on a construction site and here are the bricks, here's the cement, here's the doors, here's the windows, and your job is to put it together. And same thing with a man. When I met my husband, he was a regular Joe. When he met me, I was just a regular Jennifer. Now I'm no longer regular Jennifer and he is no longer a regular Joe because as I worked myself and I became more and more feminine and more gentle and more kind, the more he was mirroring me and he was transforming. One person in a relationship has to be committed and ladies, yes, it has to be us because men are providers and protectors. They don't have time to pray or meditate or do the affirmations. They need to go to work and bring bacon home. And so we got to work on ourselves in order to bring the change, not only in us, but also in them. So again, you're in a construction site. You don't hope that the house is going to be built on its own, right? You got to create the foundation, then you got to put bricks, put the cement, and then here's the place where you're going to put the door, here's the space for the windows, and then at the end, you're actually going to put the roof. Same thing with a man. You are actually building your own man. So if you are miserable with your man and you're constantly complaining, he is greedy, he is mean, he is frustrated, he is moody, he is so feminine, it's because you created him this way. Yes, my friends. It's inconvenient and ugly truth. We are responsible for how our men are. And I'll tell you a joke. A first lady meets her girlfriend that she hasn't seen since the elementary school. And her girlfriend is telling her, Oh, do you remember this beautiful John boy was in love with you? But he is now just a plumber. If you would have been with him, you would have been a plumber's wife. And she looked at her and she said, no, honey, if I would have married him, we would just have a different president. Do you get the attitude? She is the queen. She is the first lady. She is so confident in herself that she knows that even if she would have married that boy, John, he would have been the next president. And I want you to understand that you are responsible for how your man shows up in life. You with your femininity can melt all of his anger, all of his uh, pessimism, complaints, his attitude, his character. All you have to do is work on you doing the early morning meditation or the affirmations or the prayer. The more you work on yourself, the more the universe and God himself is helping you. And that's how, my friends, we got to look at life with that kind of responsibility and not just be a victim and blame husband, parents, society, and everyone else. We got to work again on ourselves. Build a home that you'd like. Your husband is the same blueprint. It's the same as this, this house. And you have a blueprint, you have bricks, you have cement, you have everything 
to build your dream home, meaning you have everything to build your dream man. And you have everything to make out of regular Joe a king himself. But you gotta have faith and you gotta work on yourself. Namaste.